Hey, how's it going ladies and gentlemen of the internet? My name is Doodles, we are back once again with a brand new video for you guys. Today I'm continuing on with the sewer section on my Resident Evil 2 remake, Leon B playthrough. In the last episode we did the Ada section of the game, uh, where we had to do the whole EMF visualizer thing. And uh, now our job is to rescue Ada after we got shot. Uh, as you can see, Leon has the, um, the bandages all uh, put on him like in the classic RE2. Uh, I don't know how he got them unless he did it himself, because normally in the original RE2, uh, Ada did it for him, but obviously she is not here. She has been um, trapped by William Birkin and Annette, so it's our job to go and save her. So hopefully you guys are digging this series so far. If you are, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if you're new around here. Make sure you subscribe with notifications on, click the subscribe button, click the notification bell, click all. That way you'll never miss out when a video goes live on the channel because we're making some good progress in this playthrough. And then once we've done this playthrough, we're going to be moving on to Claire B and the Fourth Survivor and all of that good stuff. There's going to be a whole host of Resident Evil 2 remake content on the channel, so make sure you're sticking around for that. Uh, but for now, we're navigating through this disgusting sewer as we try and find our way around, try and find our way out of here. Just double check and see if there's any ammo and stuff kicking about because obviously we are getting pretty low. Uh, we did waste a lot of it, which was pretty damn annoying, but... Kind of is what it is. I did not realize there was going to be a dude there. Oh, my aim is trash. That's why we waste so much ammo. I'm not even going to bother with that. I tell you the truth. It's going to be a waste of inventory space. Right, it's trying to figure out if there's any ammo kicking about. Right, we can't get in there. We need the sewer key for that if memory serves me correctly. Right, that door's locked. Damn. I can do this. Oh, my aim is trash today. That's one way to take him down. My aiming is absolute trash today. Don't know if we can get in that door or not. I might leave it for now. Because obviously the zombies are. I'm trying to save ammo if I can. Not that it's going very well. But I'm trying. Just making sure there's nothing kicking about. Like I said, I keep wasting enough ammo. I don't want to waste any more than necessary. And I think we're pretty much come to a dead end unless we go back down. Oh, shit. I did not mean to do that. Is this the way that we've just been? Shit. We need the tool for that. I'm just going to uh, mark that on my map just by doing that. That is a blue herb. We'll grab that. Don't, yeah, we don't know if we've been on here. This is a new area. But I know one of those G things is kicking about. What's that there? Uh, some good powder for shotgun shells or magnum ammo. Either or would do. There's one of those big ass G things. Oh, he grabbed me. Shit. That's a nice waste of a knife there that I didn't want to use, but hey ho. Right, so we're now at the cable car section. Cable car. Interesting. Obviously we can't get in there yet. I absolutely hate those G things, they are so annoying. I'm sure they can, well, they're neither poison you or they can one-hit kill you as well. They're an absolute nightmare. She go? Right, just grabbing anything that may be about here. I think there's something in this locker as well. Oh, it's a key card. I've got the uh, the combination here. Uh, it's Z, it's SZF. What's inside here? So, Magnum Ammo, that's good, because we're pretty damn low on Magnum Ammo. Not going to lie. We used quite a lot in the uh, the first Birkin fight, which I didn't mean to. Oh, this is different to the... Um... I like the no, it's not. That. It's the same cutscene. Come 
Ada. Obviously, where uh, William Birkin is trying to get to Ada. She's obviously trapped in there, so... We need to get a shift on. Or we need to save her. That's the plan. Right, I'm going to drop them off. Also going to drop them off. I'm going to drop them off for now. So we're not using the Magnum anytime soon. I'm trying to build up some gunpowder and maybe decide what to use it. Because we could maybe build some Magnum rounds with it. I think that would be a good plan to do. Get ourselves some extra Magnum rounds. Especially for the boss battles near the end. I think that would be very, very beneficial. Which obviously means I need some uh, two, I need two yellow gunpowders. But we'll see. Obviously we'll try and uh, stockpile some. We'll decide what uh, rounds we're going to use. Unless I get desperate and I'm going to have to use them earlier on. But if I can help it, I'm going to try and avoid it. I'm going to get that safe in a second. I'm just going to go and uh, get the stuff over here first. Right, I can combine, uh, combine that rather with my green and blue herb that I've already got. Right, Claire's Nord. Uh, Leon, I have to take a little detour to help this girl I found. If I don't save her, I hate to think what might happen. You go on ahead, you're almost out of the city now. Don't worry about me, I'll make it, I promise. So it says indicating Claire isn't um, using the cable car to go. The nest is obviously going out a different way. Which kind of contradicts the whole scenario a bit because this is obviously the other side of the Claire A scenario and she did use the cable cart, so I don't know how it's going to work. Uh, but either way, she's not using it apparently. Uh, let's grab this safe. There's also a herb there. And I think that zombie might be alive. So what type of herb is it? I think it might be blue. Might be able to grab it. Uh, I've got the safe combination here. It's going to quickly do this. I think it is... No, that's completely wrong. There we go. Did it the wrong way around. And that's some uh, upgrade parts of stock for the shotgun, uh, which should uh, increase the mobility of it. There we go. It looks sweet as sweet as anything. Right, managed to grab that about uh, getting into trouble there, which was good. Hopefully he just stays into his own thing. There's a zombie down here, I can see him. We can actually make a, a red, green, and blue herb here. Just in case we get caught by one of those um, G things. Oh, I need to grab. I need to do that quickly. So I need to. Uh, oh shit! He's getting pretty close. Right, jump back down before he grabs me. As long as they don't get back up, we'll be all good. We'll be all good. So, right, we need to go into there with the T-bar handle slot. Right, there's the GM view of things. Oh, shit, there's another one. Shit, but that was pretty unfair. Normally, you can avoid it. Damn, that was pretty that was pretty damn unfair, not gonna lie. That was pretty damn unfair. But it is what it is. Can't do nothing about it. Good job we had the extra grenade. So I'm trying to build up all my healables, as many as I can. Uh, obviously for the final boss fights and stuff like that. Wanna uh, try and keep as many of them as possible. It would also be beneficial for me to have those grenades and stuff, but it's either like use a healer ball or use a grenade. 
I'm not going to take the uh, the film ball because I'm not going back to the police station. I don't think. I don't think I've got. I don't think I really want to. If I'm perfectly honest, I don't really see a need to. Shit! Shit! Yeah, my my um. My aim is absolute trash. So, like, where do we go now? Hmm. Don't know if I'm just kind of repeating myself here. Right, is it that way we need to go? I always get a little bit lost in these sewers. No oh, shit, zombies have appeared. Oh. Okay, so not the right way then. I didn't want to waste that shotgun round, but needs must. These do not appear in the air scenario. What's down there? That's just the entrance where we came from. Right, okay. That's fine. Yeah, I'm sure they don't rock up on the air scenario. Oh, that takes us back here. This is where we've got to go get the flamethrower. There's the sewer key. It's good job I brought those healer balls because we're probably going to need some. We've got one grenade. We've got two healer balls that we can cure ourselves if we get poisoned by the G things. The good thing is we're gonna get the flame to her. Oh my god, what the hell was that? Oh shit. Use that grenade. I hate these G things. Oh shit, he grabbed me again! What the hell? These enemies are so unfair. Right. The good thing is we've got those healer balls. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my dears. I hate these enemies so much. They are so impossible to beat. That's waste of shotgun rounds on it. I'm surprised that one didn't grab me. I'm really annoyed at waste of shotgun rounds. I thought I was going to kill it. You can fuck off as well. That was really fucking annoying that. I shouldn't have wasted the shotgun rounds. I should have just ran. Should have just ran. But now oh, you win some, you lose some.
How many zombies are here? They weren't these in the air scenario, I'll tell you that one. That opens that, and I think I need to get the king plug. Oh shit. I just trapped it in there. I hate this puzzle. Jesus. That's what you get for fucking with me, son. So if the plug's in there, how do we get the flame for? Hopefully that blow his head off as well. Apparently not. I'm so confused about this puzzle. Why is that door opening? Because then I just use the plug. Do we not get the flamethrower in the B scenario? Oh, there's a herb there. That's handy. And I'm assuming this is the exit. Oh wait, this is the rook. That's why it wasn't working. I was putting the wrong bloody piece in. Oh my days. So where the hell is the king plug? That's why his shit weren't working. Oh, what plug's that? That must be the king plug. So where the fuck's the queen plug then? Queen plug's here. Right, I'm gonna put this one down there. Storm me, that's why it weren't working. Jesus fucking Christ. There we go. Fuck me. There we go. Puzzle is done. Let's get out of here. Take out these G's. 
And let's get the hell out of here. I hate this part of the game so much. Oh shit! Shit, shit. I'm sure another one pops out here as well. Yeah, it does. I'm sure there's another one behind me. <laughs> shit, get me up those fucking ladders, shit! Oh, fuck, that was a nice place to heal the balls there. But needs must, we got ourselves the flamethrower. It's not a bad thing, not a bad thing at all. Right, where does this lead? Oh shit! So where the fuck are we? I'm not entirely sure. I think we need to go back here. We seem to be wasting a lot more ammo of this than we were in the uh, the air scenarios. I'm sure with this game, this uh, scenario is just a lot harder. Everything just seems to be a lot harder in this scenario. I really hope we can take out the final bosses because we came down the wire last time. I don't know, I'm, I'm debating whether to go back. Go back, you know. Yeah, I'm seriously debating whether we go back to the police station and see uh, get the whole Wesker thing. Get some half decent ammo there. No, other is it upgraded something. We get some pretty decent stuff from it, so. What's that there? Magnum ammo. Obviously, we haven't got the joys of Mr. X chasing us now, so... That's the, uh, the William Birkin boss section. And this will take us back under the uh, the goddess statue, which is awesome. Yeah, this whole section doesn't take long at all to do, so I don't know, it might be worth just doing it.
Right, let's develop this film. Let's go and get these bits. So I'm thinking of what we've got to use for Star's badge for. Outside of the uh, Star's office. I'm sure there's another need for it. I've never figured it out. box and the Rebecca film if we want it right that's for the magnum yeah I'm not going to bother developing the Rebecca film I don't know why I got it to tell you the truth I don't really have a need for it, but there is a Rebecca film in there as well. Let's go and get the second and final bit. Obviously, these are going to be um, beneficial for us. We've got to make our guns better, which hopefully obviously make the end of the game a bit easier. Anything over there? Any ammo or anything? Doesn't look like it. Always worth a check. Why is that door open? Did a zombie break out of here or something? Because I didn't go in that door. And there's some fuel for our flamethrower, which is going to come in handy because this comes in clutch for the end boss of the game. The end bosses, they, they're coming to an absolute clutch. That makes it all worthwhile, actually. I'm really glad that we did this now. <laughs> right, let's head back. Sweet. That was cool. I don't need a Rebecca film either. Right, so I can roll. Good job this isn't the speed run. And there we go, back in the sewers. Which shows that the RPD really is connected up. Uh, which is obviously probably the work of Brian Adams. Uh, Irons, I keep saying Brian Adams, Jesus. Brian Irons, obviously he used the sewers to get to the Umbrella Lab to uh, deal with Umbrella. All of a because obviously he was in the back pocket of Umbrella, so that's pretty cool. Uh, the sewer key is also shown that there's never use for it. I'm not entirely sure what it is. Oh, shit. Right. Ah, we haven't got the plugs. I think the room over there, we need it for. 
Get down, you fat fuck. Right, so where's the, um... Where's the fuck's the item box? Probably not the best thing to not have the plug, because I'm sure there's a room over there which uh, we uses it. Ah, oh, fuck. And I'm not entirely sure where the fuck the item box is. Right. Shouldn't take six bullets to put a zombie down like that, but fair enough. Probably have had more success there putting the bullet through its head, but hey ho. This is not taking me where I wanted it to go. Hopefully, Peter, this is where we need to go, hopefully. Yeah, I think we're actually on the right track. Yep, looks like we are. Yeah, at least we're on the right track. I'm just gonna take a look at all my inventory now. Right, so we've got some magnum ammo there. We've got eleven magnum ammo. Not doing bad. We've got quite a few green uh, blue herbs. We've got some decent healer balls. Not great, but not bad. Not bad in the same breath. Not bad. And we're on fucking caution. Fuck me, that sucks. Yeah, not doing bad overall, I think. Uh, so that's going to wrap up this video, guys. I think it's going to be a good time to end things here. I'm going to give the puzzle a go. Hopefully, we've got all the pieces for it. And then, uh, yeah, hopefully, we can uh, move on with this section of the game, get ourselves out of here, and then I uh, go to the lab and uh, finish that off and then finish the game. So hopefully, guys, I'm excited for that in the coming episodes. If you are, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. If you're new around here, make sure you subscribe with notifications on. Click the subscribe button. Click the notification bell. Click all. That way you'll never miss out when the video goes live on the channel. And if you missed any episodes so far of the playthrough, there's a playlist in the description box and on screen for you guys now. Make sure you go and check it out. My name is Dills. I thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.